a wonderful off the grid 12 volt solar powered home. And I'll show you my system real quick. Easy super way, it works real well. Here we go. Boom. I got two panels, 150 each. I take the sun nicely from the south, right at the sun. Right here. Then they come out right past here, past my French tray, into this nice old cool wood box, turned into a battery box. Open that up right in there. What do we got? Two six volt batteries wired, you know, positive and negative, leaving a positive and negative. So two six volts making a 12 volt. Don't need the lanterns anymore because we got solar. There they are looking at the south like we looked at. Boom, out there in this windy day in the fly strip. And the wires come in. I don't recommend using a wood board for that. It works, but I'm going to use like a ceramic board with this to back it up to hold to the wall. Anyway, Sun Saver 20 amp charge controller right there. Super great for Morningstar. I use one of these in my RV and I use one on this setup. So far so good. Super intelligent three light LED system. I like it very much. Then I just got a little marine block fuse panel right here. Fuse box deal. Whatever you call it. Six of them. Ground right here. Just the ground bar deal. I run off that. Not just off the ground. It's grounded outside. Then I run big gauge into there. The back. A simple little inverter right here my whole house is 12 volt every outlet is like this we all know how these work boom like that that's pretty cool I think over here same deal from where my TV was right there 12 volt TV you can get anything for 12 volt you just gotta look for it truck stops got it internet's got it two 150 watt panels right out there two 6 volt batteries wired to 12 volt I don't know how many amp hours, but enough. I've never gone out. I've never gone below 90%, 80%. I run LED 12 volt lights and other 12 volt accessories. Let's look at it, man. Morningstar controller right there, 20 amp. Boom, fuse blocks right there. Those are cheap, easy. Bar, pulling 13 right now. A couple USBs. That's it. That's my off the grid 12 volt power advice. It's worked good for me for the first year so far. Don't spend a lot. Keep it simple. That's what off-grid is anyway.